Hello, my name is Anna. I'm Clinical Skills Educator for St Margaret's Hospice and today I'll be showing you how we set up a syringe pump. Today I'll be using the BD Bodyguard syringe pump. The equipment you'll need to set up your syringe pump is a palliative care drug chart with a valid prescription. You'll need a filter needle and a syringe to draw up your medications with an appropriate diluent. You'll need a lure lock syringe to add your medication to, which will then fit into the pump. You'll need a line that connects between the syringe and the patient. You'll need your BD bodyguard syringe pump with an appropriate battery. You, for your patient, you'll need a butterfly needle and a transparent clear dressing to hold this in place. You then need your lockbox and key that goes onto the syringe pump and a bag to cover the pump with. You'll need a sharps box to dispose of your sharps. You will also need a label that has listed all the medications that are in the syringe and need, this needs to be secured onto the syringe before you pop it in the pump. Once you have your medication loaded in your syringe and you've primed your line and you've secured your label onto the syringe, you're now going to pop the syringe into the pump. The new pumps need to have the battery stored in the back at all times. So this one already has a battery in place, but it's best practice to have a spare battery in case your battery is low. To turn the pump on, press the on button and hold it down for a few seconds. The screen will light up and the actuator will move forward and backwards, so watch your fingers. You'll then be showed a screen which says load syringe. So you lift up the arm, turn it round. If you line up your syringe as a cross at the back, it should then fit into the pump with more ease. So line up the middle of the syringe and you can use the forward and back arrows to move the actuator forward and backwards so that the syringe fits into the pump. And make sure that the pump is all in line. Secure the syringe with your thumb as you pull the arm over so it doesn't displace. The pump will then register which syringe you've used. This is coming up as a 30ml Braun Omnifix, which is the correct syringe. However, if the wrong syringe is displayed, you can use the up and down arrows to, correct, to select the correct um, syringe and then press the green button to confirm. If you're happy with the syringe now that's displayed on the screen, press green to confirm. You'll then be given a volume, a duration, rates, and if you're happy with all of that, you can press green to confirm. You'll then be given a screen saying start infusion. At this point, you need to connect to your patient. To insert your butterfly needle, first of all, you need to wash your hands, collect your equipment so you've got your butterfly and your transparent dressing. Make sure you've gained patient consent and chosen an appropriate site. Start off by removing the safety cap. It's a subcutaneous injection, so popping in at a 45 degree angle. Pinch the skin, insert the needle in a smooth motion. Hold the needle in place, use the gripping point at the end of the safety cap and pull the sharp away and dispose straight into the sharps box. Remove the outer layer of the dressing, pop the dressing on. You're ensuring that the insertion site is fully covered with the dressing and that we can see through the transparent dressing the insertion site so we can monitor the site whilst the pump's running. So once your butterfly needle and your pump are ready, remove both of the safety caps. You don't need to prime the butterfly, but the line will be primed. You then want to press the green button on the syringe pump to start the infusion. And you'll get a screen that tells you the time remaining, the rates, and it will say along the bottom that the pump is infusing. You'll also get a green flashing light above the power button once the pump starts delivering. You then need to lock the syringe pump, so hold down the information button. That will lock the pump. Pop it into your lock box. Lock it with the key provided. Put into a carry bag that protects the pump from sunlight. You'll then come back and check the pump in line with your organisation's policy. The pump may alarm if there is an occlusion, so just check that your line is 
clear and not kinked. Make sure that it's still connected to the patient and the syringe pump and that the site of the patient is still patent and clear. Thank you for watching.